Here are 7 tips to 3D print 2 and a half times faster. The example in this video starts with a 3D print that could take 15 hours. This is an STL file that's loaded into a slicer, like Simplify 3D. Here you see which STL file is loaded. The preset used here is for PLA prints. After entering the settings, you can preview and generate the G-code a 3D printer can read. Let's reduce this 14 hours and 52 minutes 3D print to much less time. 1. Let's start with reducing the infill of the 3D printed model. Let's reduce it from 50% to only 15%. This is sufficient for many 3D prints. A rectilinear pattern was the fastest of these patterns for this 3D print. It's already down to 10 hours and 31 minutes, 41% quicker. As you can see, 15% seems sufficient, especially with these thinner models. Please subscribe if you like it, thanks. 2. Let's change the layer height. The layer height may not exceed 80% of the nozzle diameter. This means layer height can be 0.28 instead of 0.25 millimeters. It's now back to 9 hours and 26 minutes, which is another 11% quicker. A higher layer thickness does not necessarily make prints look ugly. 3. Use a higher extrusion width to save even more time. Extrusion width should be 1.2 times the layer height at least, which is 0.34 millimeters. But that doesn't mean it can't be bigger. I usually use an extrusion width of 0.44 millimeters. Printing time is now 8 hours and 31 minutes, which is about 11% quicker again. 5. Using less outline perimeters also helps to save printing time. Let's change the number of outline perimeters from 3 to 2. We're at 7 hours now, which is another 22% of saved time. For prints that don't have to be strong, two outline perimeters should be enough. Not the print itself, but this preparation can save a little time. The print bed can be heated to 45 instead of 50 degrees Celsius for example. For PLA, this should be sufficient for most prints. 6. Changing some speed parameters can also help. I always try to print with the default printing speed at 3600 mm per minute. When models are really simple, you can change some other speed parameters. Increase the outline perimeter and infill speed for example. Let's also increase the top layer speed from 50% to 80%. It's at 6 hours now, which is 2.5 times faster than the 15 hours at the start. Material usage decreased from 200 to around 143 grams. 7. For some models, it's okay to disable retraction completely. But when it's on, it won't cost you very much extra time. For this print it would have saved only 9 minutes if retraction had been turned off. Get commercial access to all my 3D files here to sell 3D prints. Also check out my design and engineering channel where I post many tutorials. And have a look at my website where everything comes together. Thank you for watching. Also check out my other videos and channels.